I'm inspecting a classic forced aired natural gas furnace. I'm not seeing these anymore. They're built like tanks, last for a long time. You know, the heat exchanger on these, the, the gauge of the steel is a lot thicker than the stuff today. Today's heat exchangers are very thin, and that's how you get cracked heat exchangers. Not to mention that they bend the steel, so wherever it's been compromised uh, is where those cracks will start to form. But the um, this is the burner down below. You probably just have the one uh, round plate burner in there. Yep. Yeah, there it is. And then it's got the pilot. Um, and then uh, here's an old humidifier. Not in use anymore. But the problem with these is you can see the tray would stick right into the plenum above that heat exchanger. And a lot of times these would drip on top of that heat exchanger, creating a lot of rust, uh, which can get rusted holes uh, and compromise the heat exchanger itself. But this is a really good example of what those heat exchangers uh, used to look like. You can see that round tank down below and then around it also, you have a square member to it also. And, uh, inside is where the flame and the combustion byproduct is inside there and then it also connects to another pipe in the back and uh, one problem with these old furnaces is that's actually going through the cold air return uh, and below it's going to be the the, uh, the blower and so if you get a rusted hole or an open seam back here so this is the cold air return blower is going to be down here and then you have your heat exchanger so the air is literally flowing from this side, pushing the air past that huge steel tank and uh, with the heat exchanger. And I've got this luggage in the way here, but that's your blower box. This is your draft hood. And that's where that pipe connects to, to the heat exchanger. And this is where a lot of times I'll find scorching around these areas. This actually looks pretty good. And then it obviously goes out to the chimney and then up and out. So it's a very basic system.